Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're sharing our thoughts and opinions on the Call of Duty games. Yeah, we're all super excited to dive into this iconic franchise. And we're not just talking about the basics, we're sharing our personal experiences and tips. That's right, and I have to say our friend Curtis Shasky is a total pro at Call of Duty. He's always prestige master. But enough about that, let's start with the classics. Call of Duty Finest Hour, anyone? Oh yeah, that game was so intense. I loved the World War II setting. Yeah, and the multiplayer was so much fun. I remember playing with my friends for hours on end. And then came Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. That game changed the game, literally. I know, right? The modern setting and the new gameplay mechanics were so refreshing. Yeah, and the story was so engaging. I loved the characters and the plot twists. And then came Call of Duty World at War. That game was so dark and gritty. Yeah, and the zombies mode was introduced. That was a game changer. And then came the Modern Warfare series. I personally loved Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, that game was so intense. The multiplayer was insane. And then came Call of Duty Black Ops. That game was so cool. I loved the Cold War setting. Yeah, and the zombies mode was even better than before. And then came Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. That game was so epic. Yeah, and the multiplayer was even more intense than before. And then came Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That game was so futuristic. Yeah, and the zombies mode was even more challenging. And then came Call of Duty Ghosts. That game was so interesting. Yeah, it was a bit of a letdown for me. But then came Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. That game was so cool. Yeah, and the multiplayer was even more fast paced. And then came Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. I personally loved this installment. Ugh, I hated it. It was so boring. And then came Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I personally hated this installment. Yeah, I loved it. It was so futuristic and cool. And then came Call of Duty World War II. That game was so amazing. And then came Call of Duty Black Ops 4. That game was so epic. And finally, we have Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Call of Duty Vanguard. Yeah, those games were so cool. The campaign and zombies mode were amazing. And the multiplayer was even more intense. Yeah, and the attachments for weapons and armor were so cool. And the hard achievements to unlock were so challenging. Yeah, Curtis was a huge help with that. He's such a pro. Yeah, we couldn't have done it without him. So what's your favorite Call of Duty game, Clara? Hmm, that's a tough one. I think I'd have to say Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, that's a great choice. I personally loved Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And I love Call of Duty World War II. The campaign was so well done. Yeah, I loved the campaign in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Ugh, oh, really? I thought it was so boring. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I know you didn't like it. But hey, being siblings means we don't always agree. That's what makes it fun. So what's your favorite game mode, Charles? Ancient? I think I'd have to say Hardcore Mode. I love the challenge of playing with no radar and increased damage. Yeah, that's a great choice. I personally love multiplayer mode. I love playing with my friends and trying to get those hard achievements. Yeah, multiplayer mode is so much fun. And the attachments for weapons and armor are so cool. Yeah, I love customizing my weapons and armor. It's so much fun to experiment with different combinations. And the zombies mode is so cool. I love trying to survive for as long as possible. Yeah, zombies mode is so much fun. And the prestige and ranking system is so cool. Yeah, Curtis is a total pro at Call of Duty. He's always prestige master. Yeah, we're so lucky to have him as a friend. He's always helping us out and giving us tips. So what's the most challenging achievement you've ever tried to unlock, Troy? Asian, that's a tough one. I think it would have to be the prestige master achievement in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It took me forever to get it. Yeah, that's a tough one. I think I'd have to say the Zombie Slayer achievement in Call of Duty World War II. It was so hard to get. Yeah, I know what you mean. I spent hours trying to get the campaign completer achievement in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, those achievements are so satisfying to get. And the prestige and ranking system is so cool. Yeah, it's so much fun to try and prestige and rank up. And the multiplayer mode is so much fun to play with friends. Yeah, we should play some multiplayer mode together soon. It's been too long. Yeah, that sounds like so much fun. Let's do it soon. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, everyone.
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming content. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we love hearing from you guys and appreciate your support. And don't forget to check out our other videos on Call of Duty and other games. Yeah, we have some really cool content coming up soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now. And bye. Later. See you in the next video.